Well then, it's uh, it's time to go. Thank you for cooperation. We hope you enjoy the show. Yep. We've landed. Here we go. Ooh, so tall, so freaking tall, man. Still waiting to check into the hotel, so going through local local delicacies while I'm here. I'm nearly choking on them, but it's lovely, good stuff. So Berlin's a great city. It's a beautiful city, and that's almost a problem for Alba Berlin because there's so much to do here before we even get to sport. It's obviously the reason for Berlin is for basketball. It's more for the Euro League final four later in the week, but I had to get an Alba in game when the chance was there for it. It's Bundesliga playoffs, game two against uh, Telekom Baskets Bonn. Uh, it's Sunday now. On Thursday, Alba won game one in the same in in the their regular home arena, which is the Uber Arena, which is where the final four is going to be. But we're going to the Max Schmeling Arena for this game, which is their old home. But when you get through all the arts, culture, other forms of entertainment in Berlin, which is a huge point of competition for it, then you throw in the sporting competition like Germany, really only comparable to England in terms of how utterly dominant football is in terms of the public interest. And obviously you've got two clubs here with serious fan bases, Union and Hertha. And of course there's other smaller clubs as well. And then you get to the women's sections of both those teams as well, which are also decent support. Then you go, okay, so basketball's maybe third, although really football's like one to 10 in many respects. No, basketball is not necessarily third. You could even argue it's not fourth or fifth because if you're going Union and, and Hertha as no one and two and we're going to be very very generous here and say none of the women's teams are above any of the other teams here which is a big question mark especially when it comes to women's football teams you've got handball really well supported big, big uh, successful team here and again they play in the home place where we're going here the stable mates of Alba Berlin in terms of who they share with the ice hockey team again long proud history strong support in Berlin and the other team that plays in the Max Schmeling Halle, the volleyball team, probably the most dominant team across domestic sports in Europe, like certainly up there, like they've won every Bundesliga title going back 15 years in the men's. I come in the women's league, by the way. So for Alba to develop the support they have, the interest they have in the city, the competition is really, really something else. It's a different level to what most teams playing basketball in Europe face. This isn't even for our game, by the way. This is this is not for our game. These are uh, no, Energy Cop Bus fans. There must be a couple of thousand I've seen so far, at least several, several large hundreds. And this is Rego La Liga, so like at least forced here uh, in Please. Germany football. That's how big football is in this country. So when I say Alba have competition. I mean, German fans bring it. You watch, I don't see that sign every day. Uh, you know, may, maybe in a you know cabin, but uh, not in Dublin. Hello fan signs are like on every seat in the lower bowl all around or some alternate. You gotta do the amount of work the people who work in the club and, and the volunteers did just to get these out alone. The bands in Peter, Man of War, Christoberg, Deep Purple, the Boss Hasu do an excellent version of Word Up by the way. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age here as well. Like a lot of big acts have played here. They love the Boss House clearly got two posters for them. That's the fan shop there. Alba's online fan shop may be the most comprehensive of any team in European basketball. There's even, if you look for it, an Alba Berlin branded shopping board. Can't see it here, but still worth noticing. So we're about 40 minutes till the opening tip here. And one lovely thing I noticed when I was walking around there, there's loads of concessions, that's great. There's a fan shop, that's brilliant. Everybody's really friendly, that's also good. But uh, some of you probably don't notice, most of you probably don't notice, I'm on the spectrum from Neurodivergent, and I've got quite a few friends who are auto, auto, autistic, uh, like an ADHD, and sensory overload makes going to sporting events quite challenging for them. So they have a little stand there where you can get the earmuffs for that, to make it easier so that they can still be sports fans come into a game like this, big play of atmosphere, they want to be part of it, but sometimes sensory overload can be an issue. And just being able to see that, it's just a lovely, lovely touch. They have that very close to the entrance, very quick to access for anyone coming in. It's just a lovely touch really, and it stood out to me, it's a really nice thing they do here. There's the Magenta team uh, getting ready. I know a few of the people in Magenta. Uh, they don't have, unfortunately, Benny here, who I know really well. Uh, he must be at some other match today working. Uh, but, uh, or Katharina, of course, I know even better than Benny. Uh, but you know, it's a lot of people who of course do all this, but it's a 
going to be great. As you can see from where I'm sitting, our seats are going to be phenomenal. There are the Southern Bond fans bringing the noise. They're in the upper bowl here, but they're going to be loud. You can tell that. There's the mascot, the albatross, giving the fans some love before the game. You've got to love to see it. You can see the Alba fans, the crazy section is getting ready. We got four of them here, all getting ready for opening tip here. Two minutes to opening tip. I'm delivering the mic out so you can appreciate how loud it is so that I get no benefit at all. It is loud in here, it is absolutely lit. Game through the playoffs, you gotta love it. Arriba! Time here, Albert 4440. There are times out there where Johannes Seaman looks a disappointed dad at his side failing to make a bigger lead of it, to be honest. But other than that, it's looking good for Alba so far. Uh, obviously, a lot of work to do yet, all the battles will be played. Cracking atmosphere, though. I hope you can tell from the bits you've seen so far in this video. than that. Like, this was a really, really tight one for the most part. Johannes Steven being the dad on G really late. Martin Hermanson doing it from G. Extraordinary stuff, extraordinary scenes there. I've got to do a bit of a turn around. I'll see a bit of this. What a scene, what a, what a game, what an atmosphere. It just, it's just good for basketball. I can say I love it. Fans showing the love, the respect for them coming on the road. 
That's just great. The Vaughan fans still singing their hearts out. Thought this video was going to end without beer. Come on, so great day at all. That really, that's something you know, which really, really enjoyed. Obviously, looking forward to the final four here as well. But uh, definitely, if you can get into town and catch an Alba game, uh, couldn't recommend it more. Uh, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe, it all helps. Uh, but for now, prost.